Welcome. So in this part of the lesson, we're going to be talking about the general form of a circle. And here it is right here. This is the general form of a circle. So the equation of a circle may not always be written in the form, the center radius form. It could also be written as the general form. To convert the general form to the center radius form, you need to complete the square for both X and Y. And we'll be talking more about this in our example here. But before we do that, what I want to show you is that the general form and the center radius form are both the rules for a circle. And the way I'm going to show that to you is I'm going to take the center radius form and I'm going to expand it. And what you're going to see is that I get the general form out. So let's give this a go. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to expand it. So that means I'm going to first expand out X minus H squared. So when I'm doing this, how am I going to do it? Well, this is where our knowledge of quadratics comes into play. We know that when I want to expand a perfect square, I just square the first term. Then I go X times negative H is negative HX. Then I times that by two. So I take this, I times it by that. Then I times the whole thing by two. So that's going to give me negative two HX. And then I square the last term. So it's going to give me positive H squared. And then you do the same thing over here. So I'm going to get plus Y squared. And then I'm going to get minus 2KY. And then I'm going to get plus K squared. And then what I'm also going to do here is I'm just going to move this R squared over. So I'm going to write minus R squared. And I've just brought it over there. And this whole thing is equal to zero. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it look more like this. And as you can see over here, I have my X squared and my Y squares next to each other. And then I have negative HX minus uh, minus 2KY. So what I'm going to do is just kind of move things around now. So here I've got my X squared and here I've got my Y squared. So I'm going to move those next to each other. So it will look more like this. And then I will take uh, this and I'll take this and I'll move them next to each other as well. And that will just leave me with this H squared, K squared and R squared, which I'll also bring next to each other. So I'm going to end up with X squared plus Y squared. So I'm just taking this and this and moving them next to each other. And now it looks like that. Then I'm going to take this and this and move them next to each other. And now I've got this. And then I've got plus H squared plus K squared minus R squared is equal to zero. Now you might be asking to you, you're asking yourself, well, this does not look like C. And you're right. It doesn't look like it, does it? But what do we know? All of these H squared, K squared, R squared, none of them have an X or Y to it, do it. Like over here, this has an X, this has a Y. None of these have an X or Y. That means they're just numbers. In other words, they're all just constants. So when you add and subtract them all together, you're just going to end up with uh, one constant, so one number. So that means I'm just going to say H squared plus K squared minus R squared is just equal to C, some constant. And now we're going to finish this off. We're going to write X squared plus Y squared minus 2HX minus 2KY plus C is equal to zero because all of that is just equal to C. And just like that, we have made uh, the general form. So X squared plus Y squared minus 2HX minus 2KY plus C is equal to zero. We've done it. Hooray. All right, so that's showing you that the center radius form and the general form are both rules for circles. The next thing I want to do is a touch more complicated, and that is to convert the center radius form, so something like this, so to convert to the center radius form. So I want to take the general form here, and I want to turn it into the center radius form. And we've got instructions on how to do this up here. So it says to convert the general form to the center radius form, complete the square for both X and Y. Complete the square for both X and Y. So when you've got the general form and you want to turn it into the center radius form, you're going to complete the square for both X and Y. So let's go through the steps on how to do this. The first thing you have to do is very easy. And that is just bring everything with X's together and bring everything with Y's together. So just literally shuffle it about. So you got the X's together and the Y's together. So here, I'm going to get X squared minus 6X. And then I'm going to shuffle it around to get Y squared plus 4Y. And now they're all together, which is nice. 
and then I've got equals 12 there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square for this. Hopefully we all remember how to do this. You take the coefficient here, so six, you halve it and you square it. So the half of six is three and then you square it. And then we continue to go on here. We've got this. So this is going to be plus uh, y squared plus 4y. We'll take 4, we'll halve it, which will give us 2, and we'll square it. And we're just plussing that on there. And now this is going to be equal to 12. Now this is where we've got to be careful. If I'm plussing 3 squared and plussing 2 squared here, I have to do the same to the other side of my equal sign. Otherwise, I'm changing it. So we need to make sure, as we always do when we're completing the square, so sometimes you like you plus and you minus it. So here we're going to plus this onto that side and plus that onto that side, and that's way it's staying balanced. If we don't do that, we make it unbalanced. So that means because I'm plussing 3 squared on that side, I have to plus it on this side. And because I'm plussing it over here, I need to plus it on this side. And by doing the same thing to both sides, I'm keeping it the same. And that's very, very important. All right, let's now tidy this up. So this right here can now be written as x minus three squared. Remember it's a minus because you've got a minus here. Then we continue on. This can be written as uh, y plus two squared. Remember it's a plus because you've got a plus there. Then we continue going. This is going to be 12. Now three squared is nine, two squared is four. So that means my final answer here is going to be x minus three squared plus y plus two squared is equal to 12 plus nine plus four is going to be 25. And now we can easily read off what the center is going to be. Uh, the center is going to be positive three and negative two. And then the radius is going to be just the square root of 25, which is five. So just like that, we have found the center radius form, which allows us to easily identify the center and the radius. Perfect. So there you go right there. Whoops. We have talked about the general form uh, and how to convert back and forth. In the next part of this video, I'll stop it here. In the next part, we'll talk about uh, using our CAS a bit as well. So I'll see you in that next part.